Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. So this is finally my final review for my purple umbrella girl from Rainy Day Diamonds in full crystal. You might or might not remember that the lovely Christina um, gave me both versions of this painting, full crystal and um, regular round drill, and I completed this in October as part of Drills and Chills, and I never came around to film the final review until today. Yay me! As I said, this is a full crystal kit from Rainy Day Diamonds. Um, she is the one supplier so far that provides full crystal drill kits that I actually like. Um, I think they come out great. As you can see, hopefully on screen, this looks really, really good. Um, the contrast is really there for a full crystal kit. It can't be any better than this, in my opinion. And this is a 50 by 70 kit. It had 24 colors and um, there was so much purple in this. I never expected to have that much purple, but it's basically everywhere. <laughs> and I loved working on this. Sadly, I managed to drop my trash um, tray on the floor. Yeah, sometimes I'm extra like that. But what I pretty much had and which is standard for full crystal kits is, um, I use these, ah, come on. I use these little round white trays for my trash, which is also my mistake because when they drop on the floor, they spill it all out. And um, this was pretty much the f complete um, bottom was covered in, I would say, two to three layers of drills. So quite a bit um, for a painting like this, but for crystal drills, I've mentioned this before, you don't just have concave bags and holes and maybe chewed on drills. You also have the issue with the silver coating on the back getting on the wrong side. You might have seen that when the coating is actually on the top. Um, it also happens with AB diamonds. That's pretty much because it's a coating and it's a machine doing it. And um, the machine should turn all the drills on the right side. But you know how it is with our little tray, tray when we shake those. Not all of them end up on the right side no matter what. So this is what happens. And that creates quite a bit of trash drills. But um, to show you the amount of leftover I had for this painting, I had so many drills, I never worried I would run out. And as you can see, there is a lot of leftover for every single color. Sometimes there is more leftover than I actually needed in the painting. So there was never a worry of running out here. Um, yeah, and there's <laughs> there are other drills on the backside for another final review I need to do, and they are dropping off now. Yay! Um, yeah, as you can see, plenty, plenty, plenty of leftover drills. This painting had for the first time these black drills with the silver back, and I have to say I didn't have a single trash drill in those. So the coating always ended up on the right side. There was no Damn it! There were no concave bags. There was nothing on these drills. They were just perfect. And the one color you might have seen in my unboxing where I went completely bonkers over was 550. Um, there's so much left over and this color is just so, so freaking beautiful. Um, that's the purple that's basically throughout the whole painting in the background as shading. And it's, it's so pretty. It's not just purple. It, it has a lot of blue in it as well. There are these blue and, and red flashes. And I don't know if you if you know anything about um, gemstones. Um, I used to be a collector of gemstones a few years ago. And um, there are quite a few different types of amethyst. And one of them is the Siberian amethyst, which is a lot, lot darker than your regular one. And it has these blue and, and, and um, red flashes in the, in the right lighting. And that's what these drills remind me of. Um, sadly, I don't own one of those amethysts or I would show it to you, but they are quite expensive. <laughs> so I could never afford it. All right, um, what else? Um, 
the glue on this canvas except for one little spot was absolutely perfect there was one spot that was completely slippery um, nothing would stick on it it was about five to four drills four to five the numbers hard um, big that spot I used a liquid glue to hold the drills down so far they are holding down I have no idea what happens if I roll this painting now it has been such a small area that I hope it won't create an issue um, but once I finished my paintings I usually store them rolled up in my ever moment tubes and I'll have to see if they will pop off or not um, but that was the only issue I had with the glue. There was no issue whatsoever reading the symbols or um, this time around. There were some similar symbols in there, but um, not as confusing as with the red bridge where the two dark blue colors that were always next to each other were both triangles. So I didn't have this issue with this painting. Overall, I enjoyed working on this kit very much, so um, I'm not surprised about that because I already knew that I like Christina's kits. Um, but working on this was really, really, really a joy and I'm glad I could finish it for uh, drills and chills and get it done so quickly. I don't know quite yet when I'm going to complete the regular drill one. But I'm going to complete it as soon as I can and then I will also have a comparison video of the two of them um, to show you the difference in colors, shading, etc. Because there will be, of course, a huge difference. I mean, those two kits are as different as night and day. So, yeah, no one will be surprised. But anyway, I think you can see it for yourself. It, it looks stunning. It really looks stunning. The contrast is fabulous. Um, if I had to complain about anything at all, I think it would just be a bit about the shading here in the umbrella. It, it's a bit odd. It's looking a bit off. But I guess this this is just something you will see in full crystal paintings. On the other hand, I am so stunned by the reflections of the lights in the, in the wet um, concrete and about the windows here. It's, it's just, it looks amazing. It really looks amazing. So I can only recommend once again the crystal kits from Christina. She has now also an Etsy shop, so you don't have to purchase through Instagram any longer if you don't want to. But she is taking a break right now. Um, I think Etsy pretty much broke her uh, stack of paintings she had available. <laughs> so she is currently restocking um, fulfilling the orders she got and so for the meantime um, her shop is closed but she will be back soon I hope and maybe this one will be available then all right guys um, I'm pretty sure I forgot about half of what I wanted to say I'm still very confused I think and very disorganized but I hope you will forgive me for that um, on the bright side I'm back even though if I'm even though I'm alone today because my furry assistant is still a bit miffed with me <laughs> for being gone so much. Um, but I think once she realizes I'm filming, she will be here. All right, guys, I'll let you go. This is all I have to say right now about this painting. Absolutely a thumbs up for me. Christina's kits are awesome, no matter if they are crystal or regular drill. And yeah, give her a try if you haven't done so. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you would feel so inclined, I would love to get a like from you. Maybe if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe and the bell button down below to be notified about any of my uploads. And until then, I uh, will see you next time. Bye, guys.